right, guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, the M Creator Lore series. So today what we're going to be working on is making a couple trees, implementing the blocks, and um, basically just setting up a tree to generate in the biome. So I want to actually in the future go ahead and make a couple more different variety of trees, maybe set up rotations for each of them. So there's like some variety uh, for direction and stuff. I'll probably do that off camera because it's not too important. We've already implemented one tree of the same type. So I'll I'll probably do a follow-up video just to show the, the progress of that. Um, if that's fine, but outside of that I basically just went ahead and set up the properties and stuff for the logs and The leaves so that's basically what I'm doing right now Is setting up the properties for the logs and then I moved on to creating the leaves that we needed and um, I selected the texture then I needed to find the block base for leaves so I selected leaves for the block base and I made sure that the foliage color was set for the actual um, leaves themselves. So because we used a grayscale, we can basically go ahead and use foliage color. Uh, then I set the properties according to Minecraft Wiki. And then I went ahead and uh, set some other settings for this particular block. And set all that up uh, to work with what we needed. So they are flammable uh, up to 30, I believe, as uh, a default for the base game. So I set it to 30 as well. Uh, logs are flammable for five. So they're flammable on that level. And then I wanted to make a wood variant uh, because we might need this in order to design our trees with. So uh, sometimes having the texture on the ends is really helpful. So I just updated the couple properties of them and Set up that so we could basically go ahead and start building so in game I built this basically this tree and I just needed to kind of set up the location for the um, Actual properties for it. So I'm just ballparking it at the moment for the size I didn't know exactly how big I needed the tree itself. So I just kind of played around with it until I got the size that I needed. Um, roughly about 13 by 12, if I remember correctly, by 15, I think, or 16, actually. So uh, that was the size of the tree. And then I needed to fill in the area with structure voids, which help with uh, the generation so it doesn't just replace everything with air. So I basically just set this position so I could basically get the location broke it and then I basically filled that in with structure voids replaced it with air or replaced air with structure voids it's weird how they have it formatted but it's the second one that you're replacing so I basically just wanted to see if I updated everything and it looks like I have so I just wanted to make sure that everything was set up properly and then I just needed to give the structure itself a name so I could basically go ahead and bring it into M Creator. After bringing it into M Creator, I could start finally working on the actual structure itself for the biome. So this is where um, I started working on getting the structure um, for the generation for it started. And then I worked on importing it. And I had to play around with the settings a little bit uh, to get it to sort of generate, um, it, I had a, quite a bit of difficulty at first uh, trying to get the script to work and I realized that it was probably down to the um, structure being such a large size for the X and Z. So I lowered the amount in the procedure itself uh, to uh, like a five by five area, which might still not be enough for all the plants. So we might make some different variations in a future video, but uh, I want to set up the rotations for this particular tree and that can be done by, um, you know what, I'll probably actually do that next episode because it might be handy to actually show how to rotate structures and you still use the, st the script. So it requires kind of building another, um, not requiring building another tree, but you will be able to 
bring it all in. So basically, some of the settings that I had to do, I just basically imported the um, script that I needed for the base tree. But once we get this part done, uh, what we can do is we can reuse the script uh, for pretty much any other plant. Uh, I just needed to fill in a couple of these things. Uh, now this is where I had some trouble having it generate because I'm, I think I got the tag or something wrong so I wasn't sure what was actually going on. Uh, basically I just went ahead and exported one of the ones that I already had done and I ended up offsetting the coordinates and stuff like that. So this is basically what I set the size to, so size and then I offsetted the coordinates where the test should be so it's more centralized. centralized. And then I increased the value. And this is basically the result that I got. Uh, finally got it to generate. So um, it takes a little bit of tweaking and stuff uh, for sure. But um, as you can see, all these areas where they are generating are pretty flat. Uh, this is probably due to the, uh, the, the train generation and stuff. So we could increase the uh, value uh, this, or decrease the size so we get more trees. But um, things like the cliff sides and stuff, it won't actually generate on. And that's probably for a better uh, reason. So, But I'm pretty happy with that. We could probably get some more randomization in here. Like I said, it looks pretty um, cut and paste. So I want to get at least the rotation set up. But um, that can be done next episode. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the end result of the tree. I think we can probably create a, maybe even a couple different uh, other ones that might be able to generate in more hilly areas, maybe a little bit smaller than this one. And uh, there's a whole cluster of them over here. So let's uh, take a look at this. So yeah, this actually looks really good. I don't want them all over the Mayum uh, because that might look a little bit awkward, but... Anyhow, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.